What is the crack lads back with a quick video taking our first look at v1.1.5 talking about a couple of issues I want to see fixed and also talking about this information drop that the boys released over the last couple of hours. So if you guys have uh, been you know keeping up to date with all the special players and the legendary players and stuff there about two or three days ago they announced that they were suspending all ang ongoing campaigns uh so they had the tour event against the ai the syria they had all the legendary roma players the breakout stars and the syria stars that were suspended for unforeseen circumstances so they suspended all the following players as you can see there and they have now resumed that so as of today as of right now they are live back again um including the tour event uh the legendary roma players and then you also get your chance deal as well for you can you know get a free spin um or a free pack opening for the roma legendary players and they also announced a couple of other little tidbits as well down at the bottom there as we'll see here in just a second but yeah, I don't know. They didn't come out and say what the reason was for it, but you know, maybe had to do with with squad, or maybe they were updating the cards, or maybe they were updating stats. We don't know. Um, we will go in and check. I would say that it was just something, you know, something small. Um, you know, I would say that they're going to just keep everything as normal. And they also talk about English League event, which will be coming on the twenty eighth, which is tomorrow with the update. And they also talk about an apology. We are going to be getting a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. So you're going to be getting forty thousand gp you're going to be getting ten thousand trainer points by six so that's sixty thousand training xp you're also going to be getting another six thousand and you're going to be getting a free five star nominating contract which i think is pretty decent i mean the five star players in the nominating contract are quite decent i would say very very good like the likes of halland or maybe they'll add a few more um they also talk about known issues so this this video lads unfortunately with v1.1.5 the first details we have about it is that it's not going to be for console at the moment and again we saw this with v1.1.3 um they seem to be kind of updating the console version of the game uh, you know with every um you know v1.1.2 v1.1.4 and then the mobile seems to be getting more updates regarding like all the like they're literally you can see there for ios and android um on the mobile edition of the game they'll be releasing it tomorrow so this is just for a mobile they're not releasing v1.1.5 but they do talk about additional maintenance uh, which was being held today and they at time of recording and they also talk about that um you know tomorrow obviously there is obviously going to be a patch and they're going to tweak stuff they always tweak gameplay week on week anyway with hot fixes and stuff but if we load back in to eFootball 2022 into dream team here you can see that all the agents are back um so if you guys have opened any of these you will have the same progress made on the agent they've just extended it um in you know with whatever way is left in it and they will be bringing out the new agents again tomorrow you would imagine so you can see there all the players um there's a couple of prized players there but i think you know obviously you're going to probably have a fairly stacked team by now anyway um but yeah tonali looks like a beast i'd like to get him but I probably won't won't need him really with Makalele and uh, Vieira. So you can see there the breakout stars are back as well. So you will be able to use this as your, you know, your five star nominating contract. So on to actual gameplay, lads. I want to highlight a couple of clips here. You'll see the boys falling down there. I mean, yeah, I mean, the collision system seems to have gotten a little bit worse. And sometimes stuff like this does happen. Now, this was against the AI. I was doing one of the events um this was against the ai damaruma has an absolute nightmare which he's prone to do every maybe 10 15 games um but there is also you know there is also moments of magic i think now back in v1.1.4 i don't think it's as bad as v1.1.2 i think it's an improvement on that but i still don't think that it's 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 near the the expansiveness or I don't know, like, this is a beautiful goal, you know, and I really enjoyed scoring that, picking picking opponents apart, and again here, you know, like, some really nice bits of play, intercept, patient build-up, let the guy make mistakes, let the guy be dragged out of, you know, possession or position, and there is, when it shines, again, when it shines, you know, V1.1.4, you can have some really good games, connection dependent, I've been having a couple of issues with getting games, I had, like, five or six matches um, where I was, like, trying to search for a match yesterday uh, at lunchtime, trying to get get a bit of you know gameplay going and i literally had five or six matches in a row as a lovely goal there again i had five or six matches where it was one one bar connection i literally could not get a, a one bar connection was all i could get in when i was searching for matches um you know i rebooted my router i rebooted my game i did a speed test everything was you know perfect 
But then again, you have moments like this, and I'm going to highlight this match against the AI that I played against Liverpool. It was one of the best AI matches I've played since, I don't know, the last couple of years. Look at this, Salah. Little things like this, lads, makes me really appreciate where this game could go. And I think that's why I keep faith with it, because I do think that the AI... There is a core base there that you can actually have like a really good game of football if a lot of things align. And when you have those moments of magic in those games where it's like really, you know, exciting and really entertaining, that's kind of what keeps me coming back for more. And, you know, I overlook a lot of the issues because I'm always chasing that, you know, I'm chasing that brilliant like matchup or brilliant game where where things feel really really nice and i'm in full control so let me know what you guys are thinking that's just a quick video on v1.1.5 lads i'll be back quite soon tomorrow with all the news and the roundup with whatever we get released hope you're enjoying the videos don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think of the news so it seems to be a bit of a focus on v1.1.5 for mobile this week we have yet to get news for v1.1.5 on console but we will see and keep you guys updated as we always do peace